Hey guys, what's up? This is Shirt Talking. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're discussing the latest update in Conquest mode. Well, for starters, let's just say that uh, if you didn't notice yet, there are new characters walking around the plaza with exclamation points in their heads. Don't forget to click on them so that they give us some items. I already clicked on mine, so they are not appearing here. Well, now let's just click on Conquest. And this Conquest has something new. Uh, it's a very nice conquest mode because we get a lot of status gains here. Let's click on exchange to discuss the difference and it's a special currency that you only drop if the stage has not fully beaten yet. Like uh, the still not has 100% clear. Uh, so this kind of uh, tries to make people fight against these nodes without having to wait uh, till the node is cleared because in some past conquests there were people that were kind of lazy and waited everyone to clear all nodes so that they can just beat it once and be done so this encourages us to just play together uh, but don't worry if you cannot get this right now you can also get it when the full board is cleared when all nodes are cleared this will also drop in every stage so it's used to get the new staff from Rock Bouquet that I already got, it's not here anymore. There is two SS equipments, as you can see, Saga Perfector equipments. Uh, also this amplification badge that you can get uh, to amplify your skills, very important thing. And that's it. All the other items use the normal currencies. Uh, well, some of the other ones we also use it, but mostly is about the first and second currency. Well, right now everyone already cleared all the current nodes. Uh, we started on this point here and then we travel all the way to this other point where we face Subir. Uh, I believe that is important to say that we have to face the seven heroes here this time. They have some very interesting arts because of the uh, collaboration with the Perfector. And there is some explanation here about this special currency that only draws when the, you are still on unconquered head areas. Yeah, right now all the areas are blue because we conquered. And there is the same thing as before. Yeah, the same thing as before. Uh, there's only one thing that we need to discuss as well, that... Uh, for this conquest, like all the other conquests, the strength of your enemies is based on your own strength. It's adaptive. So if you are still starting the game, you can just start here on conquest, just fine. The enemies won't be that hard. And you'll be getting stronger because of the increased status gains. And then the enemies will also get stronger alongside you. To a uh, reach it cap. And that is this even higher than the cap from story mode. From conquest mode, the status cap is 85 for status and 1110 on HP. That's pretty high, like I said. Two points more than the current story chapter. So everyone should just stop farming the story and just focus on conquest even more because we have a lot of characters with status gains uh, triple. Uh, other thing is that all stages will have randomized enemies. There is no way to predict the type of enemies that you'll be facing, but they are mostly weak against cold, lightning, and heat. In my opinion, that's what I saw here. So it's good to just bring AoE damage and try to clear the, uh, the enemies with AoE attacks. Uh, there's no many uh, waves where you see one or two enemies. You will most likely be seeing four or five enemies on waves one and wave two. Uh, now there's another thing here that uh, we'll be getting triple status gains every time that one new boss is unlocked and also against the boss. Right now we have triple status gains for Sun and Lightning because we just unlock it Kaczynski and Subir. And then when we unlock Bokon, we will get Heat uh, characters for triple status gain. So we have to remember that even if a character has only one attack that is based on Sun, it will be considered and you can use it right now and get triple status gain. So you should be farming uh, for now the characters that have uh, Sun and Lightning and all the other characters that are already featured here. Most of the recent banners uh, will be featured already, okay? So, well, uh, what I want to say is that you should not be farming the boss stages because they are longer. Uh, you don't uh, have much uh, to gain just by farming it. Uh, when we were defeating Kaczynski, Kaczynski was pretty easy. Why? Because, well, he only attacks uh, with high damage on the second turn. And this is my strongest squad against Kaczynski. I am using it in my stream. I have... A lot of sun damage here, <laughs> especially Mei Ling because she buffs sun damage. 
So this is a good starting point if you already have these characters so they get stronger and then you can bring them to other strategies for normal enemies. My real Phoenix is being trained. <laughs> if it was uh, maxed already, I believe that I would be able to kill Kazinski in a single turn. So, one thing that some people may not understand right is that uh, all these characters are sun damage. They are featured here on Conquest because Kazinski is weak against sun. But they are also featured in all the other stages, not only against the boss stages, as you can see it here. So I suggest you to keep farming Kazinski unless, well, you have the squad that can clear very fast. And don't ever farm Sabir because he's just too strong and he can just kill you very fast because of just high damage, AoE high damage and also single target high damage. So what do we do? We just farm any stage. It can be any because they all have randomized enemies. So we click here on battle prep. I'll be showing you three different strategies. First of all, when farming a new squad, just click here on sort and filter, click on filter, and then just click here on event abilities acquired, confirm, and then you see all the characters that have some bonuses. And now discussing the first strategy, we are using the Dragon Strike formation. Uh, this is for those that have more sword users with AoE attacks. I am using Mirza and then I have uh, Stardust slash Maxit and Steel Blade on 11. There is Madly Normal, Albert, Victor Blade and Maxit. And Acelus I have Flash Triple Trust on 11 and I'm inheriting Mirage Stab. And in the back you can just bring any type of mage with AoE attacks. Okay, so the enemies will be very uh, randomized, sometimes they will only be weak to sun, some of the enemies here are only weak to sun, sometimes only weak to heat, you cannot predict and this is how you should just focus on AoE, because even if you are not dealing critical damage or weak damage, uh, you still be able to clear it in a single turn. Double element attacks will be the best choice here. But well, we don't have that many characters that can do this. Muse is good because she can do cold and lightning. Yeah. This time, you see, we were not even able to clear it in a single wave. But no worries, I don't believe that you need to be as fast as possible here. Sometimes you will need an extra turn. And the second strategy is more for those that have way too many Pierce Damage Dealers or uh, those that get more damage with Dexterity. We have uh, T260G here. Well, Dexterity increases her damage. Then there is a Ward Claudia, a character that is on a banner right now. There is also our global exclusive Monica. She has uh, Dazzling Ballet on 11 and Stingray on 6 so that we can use twice. I forgot to say, but a Ward Claudia is here with her... Rapid Volley. Staring is on 11 because she can do at least two attacks in a row. And then in the back I have Rock Bouquet. You can use her just fine because she can uh, open with an AoE attack being so freeze and then she just uses Dark Pulse. That should be good enough. And then there is Madeline here back because well she's just so strong and she can use it in this slot. Well sometimes when you see two enemies they will probably have way too much HP. My T260G is being traded, so the damage is pretty low for now. Well, again, two enemies. The Mushroom has no weaknesses, so... It usually takes more time to defeat it. Yeah, it's done. The third strategy resolves around using mages on an enemy string formation. You can decide upon which one will be the fastest by 
getting them on the front. Uh, the strongest one should be in the middle, and well, the other one will be on the back. This one can be a trainee just fine. And let's see, uh, I have my Kong Ming with Wildfire as inheritance, Light Ball Awaken it. There is Muse, Muse is easy to use, she just starts with Rainstorm and then Ice Javelins. Rock Bouquet, so Freeze, then Dark Pulse. Princess White Rose is here because of Blessed Guardian and Chocolate Ball. There is Yunzin. You can also just use blue as well. They all work well. When you see more enemies, it's always better. Some of those are weak to sun as well. Yeah. Like I said, sometimes you need an extra turn. Well, in my last strategy, if you don't have a full squad for STR-based damage or just mages, you can bring this one. You can use Rainbow Rangers and focus your best characters in each slot. My best AoE attacker with STR is Madeline, and then my best uh, Daxterity based is Monica because she can use Stingray twice, and then t 60 g is being trained. Uh, the other mage that I'm wanting to train is Rock Bouquet. And I also have Muse here. So this formation is good. You should focus on the STR, Dexterity, and Intelligence as well. Bringing two trainees should work as well. So in the case of Teacher 60 g I am inheriting Stone Shot as the first attack. Yeah, this was pretty fast. Uh, my recommendation is just bring characters that have sun or lightning or they are featured here. We can check the characters that are featured just by going to quests. So all you need to do is click here on limited time ability. We can check here Romancing Saga 7 heroes. All the 7 heroes you have uh, increased status gains, triple gains. And then there is the returning banner for Genie, Khalid and Claudia, all of them will also be getting triple status gains for the whole conquest mode. Rock Bouquet Banner, so Asylus and Rock Bouquet will receive uh, the same for Chichu 60G and Taria. All of their styles will receive triple status gains. And then we will have uh, the Sun and Lightning characters as well. Let's check here. Here, Sun and Lightning. Right now, all the characters that have any type of Sun or lightning attacks will have all their styles with triple status gains as well. So that's why you should focus on all the characters from this list. Unless we have another one that is called Romancing Saga Quest. We will check it. It's a daily quest. We can go it here. This one. You'll be getting five gold pieces for the characters that you run this stage. Well, let's just run with my squad. This one. Don't ask me why, but the enemy here is Monica. <laughs> and when you defeat this Monica, you will receive your rewards. The rewards, the gold pieces, uh, I also believe that we'll be getting some, yeah, platinum tickets. The limited platinum tickets. Very, very nice. So that's it guys, I suggest you just farm the normal stages with the characters that are featured right now. We'll get more featured styles as soon as we unlock new bosses. So it's more about Sun, Lightning and the uh, recent banner characters. They will be getting a lot of status here, focus on them and when we get more nodes with new bosses, you should just switch around other squads. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to support the channel, you have the links here in the description. We'll see each other on the next one. Bye.